our event. This is the second biannual young adult and family event we've had. Uh, we have one the last six months ago, and this one, of course, today is um, April 29th and 30th. We're doing events today and tomorrow. And I do want to welcome everybody for coming to our event. Uh, the title of our event is, of course, Don't Run From The World, Change It. And this is something that is very important to us. We'll be discussing a variety of subjects, which I'm going to cover in a second. And uh, we'll go ahead and cover some of the itinerary stuff that's going to happen, what you can expect to happen today, what you can expect to happen tomorrow. Now, to start with, um, we're doing our welcome right now. We're going to discuss a little bit about why we are doing these events, why we think they're important. Uh, we'll also go over all the different speakers that will be here. Uh, at uh, 11.30, we're going to have Reverend Aaron Slack. He's going to come up and be covering the topic of apprenticeship versus traditional college. We'll have a lunch break from 12 to 1. And we'll have Miss Rachel after that from uh, 1 o'clock. She'll come up and be discussing the goal and purpose of evangelism. And after her will be my wife, uh, Miss Abigail Walker. Her talk will be discussing backyard missionaries, and then myself as well, I'll be coming up after that and be discussing the importance of Christian education. Uh, we'll have after that a panel discussion, a kind of a Q&A type session up here in front for all the different speakers. Some of them will be participating in the Q&A, and uh, the questions will come from the people who were able to attend with us today. Others were solicited by people who were not able to attend but did have questions that the speakers would like to have them uh, discuss and answer. And then, of course, uh, we'll end our day with a uh, end of day discussion. We'll go over what that is, uh, materials that Grace Community School has produced, and we'll kind of discuss more about that at the very end of the day. We'll have that end of day discussion. Uh, tomorrow, we can expect, it was, we started a little bit earlier. Today, we started at 11 o'clock. Tomorrow, we will be starting at 10.30. And we'll just be going over the itinerary and discussing that. Uh, Pastor Ellsworth McIntyre will be the first speaker for tomorrow, which is Permit for Little Children. It's also going to be our church service for Sunday as well. So you can expect us not only to have a presentation that Reverend uh, McIntyre will be uh, talking about for Little Children, but also will be the church service where we'll have communion at the end as well, and we'll be discussing that uh, more tomorrow. Uh, 12 o'clock tomorrow will be breaking for lunch, and then after that Reverend Samuel Harrison will be uh, discussing and talking with us about commitment to making a difference. After him will be Miss Amy Slack, her topic will be Godly Change Through Christian Preschool. And then our keynote speaker, uh, Dr. Uh, Gary DeMar, we're thankful he's been able to be with us here today. We'll be discussing anti-Christians understand education uh, better than Christians. We'll be going over that as well. And we'll have a panel discussion at the end of the day. Once again, more of a Q&A type of session. Any questions we don't get to today, we'll push on for tomorrow. Also, those who are in attendance today, if you have more questions that come up, you can also ask them uh, tomorrow as well. And anybody who might be uh, with us via Facebook Live or otherwise can also submit questions to us as well so that we can answer any questions they might have as well. But this will be our overall itinerary. And we're going to go ahead and go into discussing some of the speakers. And right here, you can see on our slide, Reverend Aaron Slack, his topic we discussed already was apprenticeship versus traditional college. And so we're going to be going over and discussing all the different speakers. I think it's important not to just have a good topic to discuss, but who the speakers are and things about themselves. Now, Reverend Aaron Slack is a father of six. He has two boys and four girls. He has a bachelor's and master's degree in early childhood education. He has 17 years of experience working with Grace Community School since the year 2000. And he is the managing director of our Fort Myers Grace Community School uh, with his wife as well. And not only that, he is also the author of one of the books we'll be discussing later, A Full Reward Reformation Through Family-Run Christian Schools. And that will be Reverend Aaron Slack. Ms. Rachel Adams will also be speaking as well. Her topic will be the goal and purpose of evangelism. Uh, she's the mother of three girls, has a bachelor's and master's degree in Christian education. She has 30 years of experience working with Grace Community Schools since the year 1986. And she's also the managing director of one of our locations in Cape Coral, the Skyland location as well, and has been doing that for many, many years. Uh, Ms. Abigail Walker, my wife, uh, she's going to be discussing the concept of backyard missionaries, and she is the mother of, I have on here, 10, yeah, I'm going to have it wrong. Mother of 10, five boys and five girls, and one on the way. It's actually, for those that don't know, babies actually do pretty much any day now, so she'll be speaking right before she has number 11. So, uh, 
Very interesting stuff. She also has a bachelor's and master's degree in early childhood education. She has 24 years of experience working with Grace Community School since 1992. And of course, she is the managing director of the Bonita Springs Grace Community School with myself. Uh, this one is me. A lot of stuff's going to be similar to what uh, was on my wife's. Uh, have uh, see here, five boys, five girls, one on the way, similar to my wife, of course, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> and uh, I have a master's and master's degree in early childhood education. I've been working with, for 18 years here with Grace Community School since the year 1999. I am the managing director with my wife of our school in Bonita Springs. And uh, I have helped with a number of things with the schools over my time here. Um, I've helped to work with on the GCS operations manual, which we will be discussing later. I've helped um, kind of flesh that out and develop it a lot more and update that. I've helped uh, create the College Can Begin to preschool curriculum, which we'll be discussing more about that as well. Because you have to have more than just an idea about running a school. You actually have to have the tools in order to do it. And so this is uh, not just the operations manual, but the curriculum that goes along with how to operate a school, which we'll get into more later. And lastly, of course, I was also helpful in creating the uh, GCS preschool reading books, which, of course, we uh, don't believe that children should wait to the ages of 10 to learn to read. We go all the way down to the ages of 2, 3, and 4. And so we'll be going into that more about uh, how that works as well, but that is more about me. Uh, Pastor Ellsworth McIntyre, he will be uh, discussing Permit the Little Children. Uh, he has been teacher, teaching and administrating of uh, Bible Baptist Academy in Savannah, Georgia. He was administrator of Capital Christian Academy in Upper Marlboro. Uh, he was administrator of Wilson Christian Academy, administrator of Southeastern New Hampshire Christian Academy, and pastor and founder of Grace Community Church in Naples, and of course the founder of Grace Community Schools here as well. And it opened first it opened in 1986 and has started from one location and we now have nine locations throughout Southwest Florida. And of course, his academic studies and degrees, University of Pittsburgh, University of Pennsylvania, um, Johns Hopkins University, University of Southern California, bachelor's degree from Bob Jones University, master's degree from Georgia Southern University, and a PhD awarded by Faith Theological of Avenon. And so, of course, this is all about Pastor McIntyre, and you'll hear him speak also tomorrow. We have uh, Reverend Samuel Harrison. His concept we'll be discussing about the commitment to making a difference he is the father of 11 as well. He has two boys, nine girls, and a bachelor's degree in business administration and a master's degree in Christian education. He has 27 years experience working with Grace Community School, and he's been here since 1989. He's also the managing director of our Golden Gate location, uh, Grace Community School. It's actually also the largest Grace Community School location that we do have. Uh, also is Ms. Amy Slack, who's also one of our presenters. Her topic will be Godly Change through Christian preschool. She's the mother of six, two boys, four girls, bachelor's and master's degree in early childhood education. She has 25 years of experience working with uh, Grace Community School since 1991, and with her husband, Eric, they are managing directors of our Fort Myers location as well. And uh, our keynote speaker, uh, Dr. Gary DeMar, will be discussing anti-Christians understand education better than Christians do. And uh, I have to read this off there because mine's a little bit small print here. But uh, Dr. Gary Mark was raised in the suburbs of Pennsylvania as a graduate of Western Michigan University in 1973 and Reformed Theological of 1979. He served as researcher and writer at the Christian Worldview Ministry of American Vision since 1980 and president since 1984. And this print is a little hard to read from the side. Sorry. <laughs> So I'll tell you from here. Okay, 1984. Uh, today he serves as senior fellow at American Vision, where he lectures, researches, and writes on various worldview issues. Gary's the author of over 30 books on a variety of topics from American Christian history and God and government to thinking straight in a crooked world to whosoever controls the schools rules the world. Uh, his great tribulation, sorry, his latest book is Wars and Rumors of Wars, What Jesus Really Said About the End of the Age. And earthquakes, great tribulations, signs and heavens, and his coming. And Gary has been interviewed by Time Magazine, CNN, MSNBC, Fox, the BBC, and Sean Hannity. And he has done numerous radio and television interviews, including The Bible Answer Man, Today's Issues with Tom Wildman, 
and Marvin Sanders, and Apology Radio newspaper interviews with Gary DeMar have been appeared in Washington Times, Toledo, Ohio, uh, Blade, the Sacramento Bee, the Atlanta Journal, Constitution, the Marietta Daily Journal, San Francisco Chronicle, the Orlando Sentinel, and New York Magazine, and the Chicago Tribune. And he lives in Marietta, Georgia with his wife, Carol, and they have two married sons and nine grandchildren with two on the way. So, kind of a mouthful, as we can tell, why he's one of our keynote speakers, and that is Dr. Gary Moore.